There's no doubt that Express LRS is now firmly established as the radio control link protocol. And over the last few years, it's proved itself to be all it claimed. Low latency, long range, reliable and fast refresh. And it's open source. Manufacturers have widely adopted it and given us some fantastic products. But it has to be said their offerings were mainly targeted at multi-rotors, with only a limited range for the fixed wing world where PWM receivers are what's needed. And if you had RC tanks or boats or other scale RC models that needed lots of channels and you wanted to use ELRS, you were pretty much out of luck. Today though, I've got a selection of some of the new ELRS receivers from Beta FPV to show you. And if you need lots of PWM channels and ELRS, this could be exactly what you're looking for. Hello, and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. This is their new flagship PWM Super P 14 channel ELRS True Diversity Receiver, and that is a market first. If you're building something that needs lots of channels and you want all the advantages of ELRS and diversity, this is your only choice. It's firmly aimed at users who need the ultimate long range stability and reliability of ELRS and PWM. And as well as being able to drive up to 14 servos, external sensors such as a barometer, current sensor and so on, they're also supported. And it's a true diversity receiver with two complete RF receiver chains running the official Express LRS. And this comes ready flashed with version 3.3. Uh, this is the 2.4 gig option, but it's also available in 900 megahertz. Well, 915 or 868, depending on your region. It uses a temperature compensated crystal oscillator that's shared by two RF chips for a super accurate clock source, which is what you want for reliable long range, especially in high or low ambient temperatures. And there's these two antennas that have got this very nice strain relief on here. There's a little multicolor LED there that displays various statuses like binding, flashing and power and so on. And on this side, there's a USB-C port that's used to flash firmware. And then on this side, we've got a three and a four pin GH2 connector. And they provide some suitable cables and you get a little servo Y splitter, there's the cables for the GH2 connector there and there's a little battery test cable there or voltage test cable and you get a small but very comprehensive manual and as usual with Beta FPV their website is fantastic and it's littered with all sorts of technical info so you're not going to go short and the price on this is $29.99, or about £24 in the UK, something like that. Fantastic product. Next, we've got this ELRS Micro PWM receiver, which is again running Express LRS. You get five PWM channels, and it's designed to be small, lightweight, and it only weighs four and a half grams, including this dipole antenna and it's for use in smaller models and it only comes with the 2.4 gig option and this has been around for a little while and it only cost $13 so it's very good value for money next up we have got this brand new Super D ELRS true diversity receiver and this is like the baby non PWM version of the Super P Again, it's available with 2.4 gig or 900 megahertz options, and you get a dual receiver chain, exactly the same as the Super P. And again, you've got temperature compensated oscillator and dual dipole antennas here. It comes flash with ELRS 3.3, and this only weighs one gram. 
three grams if you include the two antennas. So you're getting a very lightweight and small true diversity PWM receiver and all the advantages that goes with that. And this costs $20, fantastic value. And they include a pin header and some cables, depending on how you want to wire it up. Next, we've got this ELRS Nano receiver, which is available in 2.4 gig and 900 megahertz. It's another small receiver that weighs under one gram and comes with a single dipole antenna. And this costs $17 or around 13 pounds. And if you need a tiny and very cheap ELRS receiver, this is perfect. But even though it's small, you're still getting all that long range performance from ELRS. And if you don't already have an Express LRS radio, this Beta FPV ELRS Micro TX module can just slot into your transmitter and you'll be up and running very quickly. And it comes either in 2.4 gig or 900 megahertz. And you can choose between one watt and 500 milliwatts. This is the one watt version and it costs $50. Beta FPV have a great range of ELRS products and there's lots to choose from. I'll leave links in the description so that you can browse the specs at your leisure. But what truly impressed me though is this 14 channel PWM ELRS Super P True Diversity Receiver. It's a market first to have that many PWM channels and I've long thought the scale and large RC modelers have missed out on all the Express LRS goodness. They're always looking to drive lots of servos, actuators, motors and so on, and they need lots of channels. With this, they've got all the channels they need and all the advantages that ELRS brings. And for $30, I think this is exceptional value. Do let me know what you think of this in the comments. Hit like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.